We've said it before, and we'll say it again, data have no value unless they're stored, secured, and analyzed. I'm Alex Guns, the fund manager of the Heptagon Future Trends Equity Fund, and I'm here today to talk to you about our latest theme piece on cybersecurity. We've been writing about cyber since 2011, and the reality is that the threat today remains at least as significant as ever. Cyber is a totally asymmetric industry. In other words, even if 99% of all attacks are halted, it's the 1% that gets through that can cause untold damage, both reputationally and financially. To give everyone a sense of the costs, they're absolutely huge. Last year, cyber cost the world about $9 trillion. That's an enormous figure. It's equivalent to about a third of US GDP or 25 times Apple's revenues. Now, the rules of the game have changed. AI, as everyone knows, has come along and it's really revolutionized technology. From a cyber perspective, it's given attackers an absolutely new set of tools. The range, the scope, the intensity of their attacks has widened significantly. No surprise then that obviously businesses are rushing to deal with this challenge and this year we should likely see about a 14% annual increase in cyber spend. Between now and 2027 we should see an increase of about $100 billion being incrementally spent on the cyber industry. Now clearly for businesses AI can also be a benefit in terms of how they use cyber to protect their assets, in other words data. The challenge, of course, remains that any cyber tool introduced needs to be both transparent and explainable. It also needs to be controllable. In the work we've done, it really remains the case that human error is probably the number one reason why cyber attacks occur, and education, therefore, is also absolutely critical. Just like the human body can never be totally free from illness, no business will likely ever be totally free from cyber attacks, and that really creates the investment opportunity. From our perspective, cyber remains an incredibly exciting area to consider investing in, both from a public and private markets perspective. We've seen an absolutely huge swathe of M&A in the last five to 10 years within cyber, and we expect this to continue. In terms of how we believe the industry should best be played, our perspective is either owning very small niche businesses or much larger companies like Palo Alto Networks, which have really sought to build end-to-end -end platforms to protect businesses against cyber. Either way, we think the industry is only set for further growth, and this remains a future trend that we believe will continue to run and run. That's the summary. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your representative at Hepton Capital, and we'd encourage every listener to read our latest theme piece in full detail. Thank you.